Today, Nate has 100 bananas. He will eat two of them every day. Is the number of bananas Nate has left proportional to the number of days that pass? And I encourage you to pause this video and think about this. And what's interesting here, they're not saying is the number of bananas eaten. They're saying the number of bananas Nate has left proportional to the number of days that pass. So let's draw a little table here to think about this a little bit more. So I'm going to make three columns. I'm going to make three columns. So in the first column, this is going to be the number of days that pass. So days, number of days that pass. So that's this right over here, the number of days that pass. And this middle column, I'm going to write the number of bananas Nate has left. Number of bananas, bananas, bananas left. And over here, I'm going to make the ratio between the two. In order for this to be a proportional relationship, the ratio between these two has to be constant. So bananas left. So I'm going to divide the second column by the first column. Bananas left, left, divided by days past. Days, days past. All right, so let's think about it a little bit. When, is, when one day has passed, how many bananas will he have left? Well, that one day he will have eaten two bananas, so you're going to have 98 bananas left. And so what's the ratio of bananas left to days past? What's 98 over one, which is going to be equal to 98. All right, when two days have passed, how many bananas is he going to have left? Well, he's going to consume two more bananas, so he's going to have 96 left. And so what's the ratio? It's going to be 96 to 2, which is equal to 40, which is equal to 48. So clearly, this ratio is not constant. It changed just from going from one day to the next day. So we don't have a constant ratio of bananas left to days past. So this is not, this is not a proportional, proportional, proportional relationship. Now, things might have been a little bit different if they said the number of bananas Nate has eaten. Is that proportional to the number of days that passed? Well, yeah, sure, because then if this was if this was the number of bananas eaten, if this was the number of bananas eaten, then it would always be two times the number of days that passed. So that would be two, and that would be four. And then this then these ratios would always be two. But that's not that's not what they asked for. They they wanted us to compare number of bananas left to number of days that pass.